everybody, Ralph Havens here. And what if you got what you wanted? What if you got what you wanted? I mean, what you truly wanted. You know, what might that be like? And have you ever considered what is it you, you really want and why you want it? You know, I guess you could call that success, right? And a lot of times with people, there's a money component like, well, if I had this much, but a lot of times I notice people want to ask, ask people a lot of times, what do you want? You know, what do you really want? And let's help you get there. And a lot of times when it comes to the money, people say something like a million dollars or, you know, some um, amount. And, um, and then, but when we start to think about what do you, what else do you want? Then the dollar amount of what would get them there is a lot of times much less than what they, um, what they said before about how much money they want. And so, you know, one of the funny things about, about success and wanting stuff, there's something that happens. It's just a natural thing to go to the next level, you know, to go to the next level. And, and, um, and by that, I mean, you know, you get something and then you go to the next um, promotion and the next promotion and the next promotion. And we've all heard about, you know, um, business people that, that keep ascending up the ladder until the point when they get to their incompetent part. Like they, they're really good at something, so they get promoted. They're really good at something, they get promoted. Then they get to the next level and they're not what they're really good at. And it's not bringing them happiness anyway. Maybe they're on the road more. Maybe they're managing a lot more people than they ever really wanted to. But for whatever reason, they went past the point of um, what they truly wanted. And, you know, there's all sorts of examples. Of course, Tiger Woods is one of the most, most, um, the one you um, can think about so easily. You know, he had everything, multi-million dollar contracts with Nike and winning every golf tournament and everything he ever wanted. And, um, and yet then, and a beautiful wife, beautiful kids. But there he was cheating on his wife and um, living a very crazy driven life, even training to be like a Navy SEAL kind of thing. And it's like, what was he doing? You know, is that really what he wanted? Why didn't he just stop and enjoy it? And, and so um, one of the things that's cool as people start to get what they want is to have first figured out what is it that you truly want and why do you want it? You know, what would that do for you? What is it that you want? You know, for me, it's it, when I was a little kid in Del Rio, Texas, Southwest Texas. Um, today's my birthday, by the way. And um, I was born half a mile from Mexico. And my grandparents were born in pretty much the same area. Um, but they were born, or my mom, my grand, granny was born Mexican. And then she, um, they moved the river. The river moved and, um, and then she was Texan. So, but anyway, um, you know, what do you want? So, so um, one of the things I always wanted back, back then in Del Rio, Texas was um, I would see pictures of runners in the Pacific Northwest in Oregon and Washington. And I said, I'm gonna live there someday. And um, as I was reflecting on my birthday today, I thought, I realized, man, I am actually doing what I really set out to do. It's like, I get to help people with their success and to get their health back and to be happy. and to live how they want to live and to really do what matters to them and to know when they've gotten to that level of success. And, and, um, and I get to do that and I get to live in the Northwest and I get to run on beautiful trails. <clears throat> I mean, it's just incredible here. It's actually beyond even what I imagined. And so, um, so the thing is though, is it time to go do more and strive for more and get to the next level of something? I don't know, but um, for me, more and more I'm realizing it's good to also have a component of um, being tranquil, you know, being tranquil, being like happy and then just enjoying what you've got. And so, so um, as you ascend up the ladder of um, whatever success is for you, that's kind of a cool thing to know. Like, what is your, your marker? What is your marker of success? Like, what do you really want? And will you know it when you reach it, right? And is there a dollar amount, see a dollar amount per month that would get you there? Here comes some runners. Um, is there a dollar amount so that you don't just keep striving? It's okay to keep striving and working, but, um, but 
really only if it makes you happy, right? So I'm gonna watch these runners run by. Let's see if they see me. Yeah, they didn't see us. All right, you guys. So have a great, great, great day and um, enjoy your day. And I hope you're having success and getting what you want in life. Let me know what it is you want. And, um, and if you want any help, let me know that too. All right, you guys, talk to you later. Um, Audiomeananswers.com.